So in this Power World video, I'm going to show you guys how you can farm legendary schematics from bosses like Jet Dragon without breaking a sweat. This is by far the fastest way I have seen and which you can easily do. It's unreal, stay tuned. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and the winners of my weekly giveaway for Power World you can see on screen now. If your name is here, hit me up on Discord and I will sort you out a copy of this game. As simple as that. Now I'm in another weekly giveaway to be in the chance of winning. Simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on. Good luck everybody. Okay, so credit to this one goes to Relinquish, who hit me up over on my Discord, he told me about this strat, it works like an absolute charm, it's also hilarious to witness at the same time. So this farm is for those players who are more or less at that in game, farming, building, breeding. Farming wise, I'm talking legendary schematics, and this strat will allow you to kill bosses instantly, and have the best chance of dropping said legendary schematics. So I've been using this for a few days now, and I have gotten lucky with a few schematics I've had drop. So it 100% works for sure. So to do this guys you need a rocket launcher as well as any pal capable of freezing enemies on the spot with that ice move called blizzard spike. Now this as far as I'm aware is the only one that actually freezes enemies like this on the spot where they like form into an ice cube. But I could be mistaken and maybe other uh, moves that ice pals in this game can do where they freeze enemies on said spot. But either or guys, you need an ice move which freezes enemies on the spot so they form the ice cube for about 5 seconds. Plenty of powers in this game, earlier powers too, have that blizzard spike move but that's what you need guys. You also need the rocket launcher which you unlock in game too so keep that in mind. Okay so to do this guys it's simple, find yourself that world boss that drops that legendary schematic and do the following. Use a blizzard spike move on them. Once they freeze, you simply shoot them with that rocket launcher. It's better to try and shoot them towards their feet, so it propels them higher. But in doing this guys, you'll notice the enemies, the bosses will skyrocket into the air and then die from that full damage. Now this works incredibly well on Jet Dragon, the twins, uh, which are Palladius and Necromus, and just about every other boss in that game, which you can indeed freeze, because you need to be able to freeze them. What I will say is, I couldn't get this done on uh, Frostalien for obvious reasons and it also wouldn't work with on bosses within caves uh, because obviously you'll freeze them, they'll hit the roof but they won't fall enough to die. So Frostalien and those bosses found within caves and any other boss you can't freeze this won't work with but every other boss in the game it definitely will. Now the bosses that I've tried and it's worked absolutely fine for me are Jet Dragon, Necromus, Palladius, uh, Suzaku, Kingpaka and many other bosses. You will have to try and test this uncertain said boss you are looking to farm. With Jet Dragon and me doing this using Frostalian, my Frostalian needs to use the move on Jet Dragon while I'm on the floor. So my, my Frostalian needs to be on the floor when I use the Blizzard Spike move on Jet Dragon and then I shoot him with that rocket launcher. If I do this while I'm in mid air, yes it will freeze, but it doesn't seem to go up into the sky. Weirdly enough though, it's the complete opposite when you try and do this under twins with Necromus and Palladius. You have to do it from when you're in mid-air. Freeze them from in mid-air, then shoot them with that rocket launcher from in mid-air and then they just fly into the sky and die from full damage. Kind of weird, but hey, it works right now, so take advantage of this while you can. So yes, if you're looking to farm legendary schematics, try this technique. I guarantee you will love it, people. Now also, you don't need to be mounted on said pal. You can have a pal that has this move that will do it for themselves when they're fighting said world boss. You can stand back and wait for them to be frozen. As soon as they are frozen, they just shoot them with a rocket launcher. You don't have to be mounted on your pal as you'll see me do it on Frostalian on screen. This is not the case. As long as they get frozen and you shoot that rocket launcher at them while they're frozen in that ice cube, they should 9 times out of 10 fly up into the sky and land and die. Now sometimes they can bug out and they'll fly up into the sky They go so high they just reappear with a bit of their health gone, which is, I've had it happen a couple of times, but more times than not, I've had them shoot up into the sky, hit the floor, die on the spot, and get that loot. And like I said, I've been lucky a couple of times now. I got the legendary pump action shotgun, and I also got the, uh, I think it's the heat resistant armor, or the cold resistant armor, I can't remember which one it is, but you've seen it on screen now, so yes, super, super lucky on my behalf. It also works on other world bosses like German Tide 2 and so forth. German Tide though, again, I had that weird bug where, I say bug, the whole thing's a bug, but, and that weird instance where I shot him, he flew so high into the sky, uh, he literally vanished, then I think he reappeared on the spot, 
and then he only had like a bit of his health taken off but it definitely works i've done it a few times for him to try it out i also tried it on king packer i tried it on uh anubis and i've tried it on a few other bosses too so yeah it definitely works on any boss that isn't resistant to ice and can't be frozen or inside a cave any other boss it works perfectly fine on now in regards to the legendary schematics uh, the legendary old bow comes from king packer the legendary pump action shotgun comes from Suzaku. The legendary power mount armors come from Necromus and Palladius. That's the heat and cold resistant pallet armors. Uh, the legendary rocket launcher comes from Jet Dragon. So yeah, guys, you can farm these all day, every day to get those legendary schematics and just do what you got to do there. So yes, people, an easy glitch, an easy exploit and how you can farm these schematics without worrying about bosses even touching you. So yeah, do it while you can because there's no doubt this is going to be patched out of the game without a shadow of a doubt. So yeah, people use this and abuse it while you can. But on that note, guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.